self-reflections leads to new neural connections and that leads to new possible directions I said self-reflections leads to new neural connections and that creates new possible directions and life dimensions I believe there was a man named Plato or Socrates I'm not sure which one he said the unexamined life is not worth living and I'm gonna examine his life and my life and say that I don't think anyone can really get credit for any one specific quote because well <laughs> um, because every quote is just the last person in the chain of all the ideas that have ever existed and so you're just kind of the, the most recent link in the chain if you're taking quote, credit for any quote. And I'm talking about self-reflection and creativity right now in this video and look what I find spontaneously on the sidewalk. Corey, you are so creative. Well, the world is made of synchronicity so that makes perfect sense why that's there. But anywho, ah, oh, now it says, Corey, you are so beautiful. That's pretty funny because I actually went out and wrote some, wrote Happy Friday in chalk this morning in a completely different neighborhood. Um, but anywho, this video, um, I'm talking about self-reflection and I believe that the, the key to making new neural connections and going in new dimensions and directions the key is self-reflection and so what is self-reflection it's basically examining our own lives and um, I feel the best way to do that is just to ask why we're doing things throughout our day why do we say the things we say why do we act the way we act why do we do everything in our day why do we do it and just asking ourselves that that's a way of self-reflecting you know it's like you're looking in a pond and uh, you're seeing your own reflection of your life and you're analyzing it because if you do really want to create something new you have to analyze what you're currently doing and see that there is another possible way to do it and so one great way to do that is just by writing things down in a notebook writing down ideas writing down questions just writing down like a journal like every single thing you're doing in your day and then at the end of the day just kind of ponder why why you chose to do those things and uh, the interesting thing about self-reflection I find is that um, whenever I think other people should do something or there's something wrong with other people it's really reflecting back to me something that I haven't really figured out with myself or something that I need to work on you know if I see somebody else eating really fast and I'm like wow that person eats like a pig then it's probably because I am really eating too fast or there's something weird with my eating that I might want to change and um, it's interesting I'm making this video about self-reflection partially because I think I need to self-reflect more and I intend to self-reflect more and uh, through this video I will hopefully do that um, and so I feel when we don't self-reflect we just kind of get stuck in these habitual patterns and uh, our, our lives become very routine very monotonous you know like you walk down the sidewalk and you say the exact same things to the same people if you work in an office you know you're just talking to the same people saying oh how are you oh good good everything's good you know we said good like six times in that exchange but it's all good but it is all good um, but I feel when we don't examine our lives then all of our all of our behavior starts to look exactly the same like these cars are pretty much exactly the same they haven't really been um, 
changed up from their original model and you know we're kind of given our bodies and our minds and our behaviors from our parents just like this car was given its model from its factory makers and uh, but I feel we have the power to completely transform this thing that we're given and the way to do that is through self-reflection and my friend Gina has obviously done some self-reflection and decided that she wanted to paint her car completely differently than all the other factory made cars so this is my friend Gina's car So friends, every day do something that does not compute. That is a way to change your own life and get out of habitual patterns. Do something that does not compute. It says love the world. Ask the questions that have no answers. This car just inspires me so much. I come by here all the time just to see it. And it's just an example of the potential that every single being has to completely transform from the way that it started and just become something completely new. Ha <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, here I'm self-reflecting on myself. Shoom, 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 shoom. Look at that camera reflecting. There's you in there. You can see you. Shubling. Oh, we gotta check out the roof. The monkeys, the birds, all having a beautiful time. This is, have a grateful day. And yeah, one easy way of self-reflecting is just saying all the things you're grateful for, you know, counting your blessings. And to close, let's read the poem, or I'll let you read the poem, because I talk too much.
And that is the question. Peace and love.